Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today let's look at some common PDF problems and how to solve them. So PDF stands for Portable Document Format. It was created by Adobe and it's widely used on both Macs and PCs. It basically allows people to send you documents that will look the same cross-platform on your screen and print them out. It's used commonly by the government for various forms that you need to fill out. It's used for documentation, it's used for ebooks, it's used for all sorts of things. But there are three very common problems that happen on a Mac with PDFs. So let's look at each and how to solve them. So Apple did a really cool thing when they created the preview application and the functionality inside Safari to allow you to view PDFs right inside the browser. This means you don't have to download the Adobe Reader at all and you can view PDFs in the browser just as easily as you can view HTML pages. But this left Firefox users out in the cold because Adobe didn't see the need to develop an Intel based plugin for Firefox since most Apple users use Safari anyway. But there's a solution. There is a third party plugin called the Quartz plugin that will allow you to view PDF files inside of Firefox. This is the URL where you can download it. So all you need to do to install it is just go here and click on the install PDF plugin link. Um, you'll have to click here to allow it to install and it comes up with this confirmation dialog. You install now and there you go. Then you have to click here to restart Firefox and from that point on you can view PDFs inside of Firefox just as easily as you could inside of Safari. The second problem that some Mac users have with PDFs is sometimes they don't open right in Preview. Preview is a great application for viewing 99.9% .9 of all PDFs out there. But every once in a while somebody uses a really advanced piece of functionality that only works properly in the actual Adobe Reader. So you're going to want to download the Adobe Reader and have it handy just in case. So you basically want to go to adobe.com and it's not quite as easy as you think to go and find it but if you go to the downloads tab and you select Adobe Reader it will take you directly to a page that recognizes you're on an Intel Mac and give you the proper thing to download. Then once you've got this on your machine you can still use Preview to view PDFs but you've got this as a backup in your applications folder just in case you want to see how it looks in the actual Adobe Reader. Okay, so here's a frustrating problem that happens with PDFs. Sometimes you get one that you can actually fill out in either Preview or the Adobe Reader. But you can't save it. So you basically have to print out your form all filled out and that's it. If you want to make a change later you have to fill it all out again. I don't know why some companies do this. A lot of government agencies like to do this as well. Give you a PDF that you can't save the changes to. But there is a way around this. There's a program called PDF Pen go to smileonmymac.com to go and download it. Now this is shareware and it allows you to basically go in and do all sorts of things to PDFs. You can edit them, you can write annotations on them, you can do just about anything you want and you can save them. So if you have to fill out a form you can fill the form out and save it with all of your fields filled in and open it up later and make changes or print it out again. So here's the Smile on My Mac website and you see here's PDF Pen. It's rather expensive at about $50 for the standard version and there's a pro version that's twice that. But if you use PDF documents a lot it certainly could come in handy. You can even draw on it or add signatures to documents. So you can actually go completely paperless getting a PDF document, signing it, and emailing it back. So there are three common problems that Mac users have with PDFs and how to solve them. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>